that has got to be my favorite champion theme from League of Legends so far. League of Legends, the game I play at least once a year with my daughter and her cousins. Not only because it's fun, but also because I must maintain my status as the cool uncle slash dad in the family. Anyway, let's listen to some champion themes from League of Legends. Pantheon, the unbreakable spear. Yes, he's the champion that kind of is inspired by King Leonidas. He's definitely got that Spartan aesthetic. Let's see how his theme sounds. Very appropriate immediately. I'm hearing metallic gongs in the background. Very armor-like like in a blacksmith workshop, crafting armor or the clanging of spear and shield. Yes, immediately sounds like a Viking war cry or like a battle chant or something. And then with the entrance of those tribal drums, taikos or what have you, this sounds very battle cry music. A battle cry with deep emotion. So it is not just rhythm. It is not just brawn rhythm. It is also the combination of brawn and beauty. Raw brutality and vibrant beauty. Key change. Oh my God, this sounds so cinematic, like a brutal orchestral masterpiece. Interesting addition of either a dulcimer or a harpsichord, especially in the Baroque era, the harpsichord is usually an instrument that is performed by royalty, like actual royal families, or performed for royal families, especially in the compositions of Bach. Now it sounds very hopeful, anthemic even, like victory is near, let's go! Here comes the army!
that brief pause of anticipation and then sudden key change. It is like such a freeing feeling. It's like a bow and arrow. You're at the peak of the tension, then boom, you shoot the arrow, whoosh, everything unleashes. That is the feeling of that key change right there. That was a brilliant piece. What a masterpiece. That could be the theme for a Netflix show or a movie if they were going to feature the world of Pantheon. Because I know Arcane is set in Piltover, which is, according to my daughter, who is the League of Legends nerd here, the realm that is closer to being Earth-like. So I know that Pantheon is from another realm or another world or country. I don't know. You tell me in the comments. This sounds massive, epic, very cinematic, and very fitting for a true warrior. By the way, if you're enjoying my content and want to support the channel, consider joining my YouTube memberships or my Patreon. Let's continue. Jin the Virtuoso. Let's take a listen. Wow, that started like a dronic mystery. It's like a crime thriller. And then the drums, oh my God. The drums being gun sounds. Different sounds made by the gun. Oh my God. And I have played a little bit of Jin, so I know that his main weapon is also a gun that only shoots five bullets at a time. There's some sort of grandiose sound to this. It sounds very much like religious music that you would hear from a church choir. This is probably where the grandiose feeling comes in. And that's an underrated effect done by mixing and mastering in audio production. But also, I believe it feels like this grandioseness, this virtuoso, this genius is going on in Jin's head. He does seem to be the type who thinks so highly of himself. So maybe even the title of the song, Jin the Virtuoso, there's some sort of pompousness associated with, with the song. Even this, this violin section right here, this violin solo, it sounds like a classical Mendelssohn concierto. Very elegant, very, <laughs> very refined taste. <laughs> but surrounding it is all these chaotic synths and those sporadic sounds of other percussion uh, where you will also hear the gun sound. So this elegance, surrounded by chaos and destruction. <laughs> what a concept.
There we go. Like gunshots as the snare drum, magnificent, grandiose choir, and the return of that classical style, Mendelssohn style violin solo. Like I said, elegant beauty surrounded by chaos and destruction. Now here's contemplation, probably sadness and melancholy. Talk about staying consistent with the style. They're singing in a polyphonic style, which sounds very reminiscent of medieval or Baroque choral music. What? What? From a Baroque choral soundscape, now we're in the Wild West. Because that kind of bendy nasal violin playing, that is not something that you would hear in that kind of era, that medieval kind of era in the classical realm or in the more religious music realm. Yes, you can probably hear it in more of the Celtic, Irish fiddling style, but not in the religious part of that kind of era's music. So that mixture is so stand out. And seeing that Jin is a total gun connoisseur, the Wild West imagery surrounded by this classical grandioseness is very appropriate. Why am I getting this image in my head? Right now I'm thinking of an empty, vast empty desert. Suddenly there's a full choir singing this, tumbleweeds, and then that fiddling Western folk style. Oh my God. This is such a mixture of two extreme personalities I could imagine going on in Jin's head or his emotions or his lore. I don't know. I have not read into it yet. But this right here going on, country fiddling style violin, massive sounding medieval Baroque style choir. It's like showcasing his personality that he appreciates the elegant things in life, the finer things in life, like wine, champagne, elegant food, and all that, Baroque paintings and all. But that Western fiddle is also representing his Wild West attitude, his adventurous side, his dangerous characteristics. So, wow, this is a beautiful mix. What? The power of music, everyone. Oh, wow, did you hear that? That low sounding sound. Doo -doo -doo. That's a church organ. So they went full Baroque here. This is full-on classical concerto. Shred!
I'm speechless after that. Wow! That has got to be my favorite champion theme from League of Legends so far. Damn, what a masterpiece. Aatrox, the Darkened Blade. Let's go. Oh, wow. Those are gamelan gongs. These are like the lower sounding, the more tenor baritone sounding gongs. And that huge gong sound, the low one that's a bass, it's huge, gigantic. Wow, traditionally the gamelan gongs, the gamelan instruments are used in a very rhythmic and very danceable way. But this usage here is going for very ambient, very atmospheric. Gamelan metal, ooh, yes. My God, this is beautiful. This is syncopated minimalism, but it's metal meets Asian traditional music. This is the kind of music that I was writing when I was in college. The combination of so-called East and West. Oh my God, this is a throwback for me. Now we're going on full orchestral symphonic wardrum style, but I'm still hearing the same pattern of the gongs, but with a key change. What? Now we have a descending bass pattern. The sound of terror, the sound of despair. And it kind of makes sense. Aatrox is considered to be a champion with a stature of one of those kaiju monsters like Godzilla. He's a literal Goliath. Even the pacing of the tempo, those heavy beats, heavy accents, do, 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 bish, do, 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 bish. it is like the pacing of a walking giant because, you know, he's super heavy. Gravity drags him down, so he kind of walks in a very slow but very confident, gigantic pace.
Damn. Okay. The ending. If you heard that low, uh, something I couldn't quite go that low, but that is a sample of Mongolian throat singing. There's two common types of Mongolian throat singing. One that has that higher pitch overtone that sounds kind of like whistling, but not really. And another one that is like a low growling drawl. And it's amazing. There's even many videos of this around YouTube and even a documentary featuring an American blues singer. Yeah, it's a fascinating deep dive. I once went into a rabbit hole of just Mongolian throat singing, and it is one of the most magical, one of the most visceral styles of vocal singing that I've ever heard of. And this combination, again, of uh, Southeast Asian gongs, gamelan music, with very syncopated, uneven meter of a metal section. Whew, that is a jam. What song should I feature next? Let me know in the comments. Now watch my next video and enjoy.